Hi, I'm Adam from DoingAJama.com. Hey, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cool Sin City style video effect in After Effects. First, we're going to start by just making a, a new composition. I'll call this Start, and I'm going to drag in my movie clip. Now I just have a, a video of me jumping down some stairs and doing a commander roll type thing. There you go, yeah, because I'm cool like that. And I want to make it so sort of this Thin City style is to have one colour standing out and everything else in black and white. And as you saw from my intro video, I took the yellow. Um, first, what we need to do when we have the, the video in After Effects is I'm just going to duplicate it, which you do by pressing Control or Command if you're on a Mac, and D, which just duplicates the layer. Um, we're going to make the top layer invisible, and then I'm just going to select the bottom layer. And we're going to make it black and white. And we're going to go to Effects, Color Correction, and then Tint. This is just a very simple way to mix it black and white. Then we're going to bring the top layer back. And we're going to make it so that the yellow stands out. Now, I used that for my pick my yellow. And um, first make sure we've got the top layer selected. Go to Effects color correction and leave color as you can see up here we have a, a little eye drop here and use that to select the color that we want to keep when we've done that we need to change this amount up to 100% as you can see the yellow has stayed and everything else has faded out you may also notice that sort of around the edges it's a bit rough and it's not, it's not it's not so great. Now this is because you need to change the match colour to using hue. Now I've forgotten to do this many times and wondered why it looked so rubbish. And it's taken me ages to figure it out and I've played around with the tolerance and nothing happened. It's just because I've forgotten to change this. Now make sure you change that. And as you can see, it's made a very big difference. You can it's picked out a lot of colours. Now we're just gonna have to drop the tolerance down. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. Maybe not that far. But it's certainly it's a lot better than when you're not using hue. Here we go. Whee. Now as you can see around this area, sort of around the elbow of the arm, the it's it's, it's faded out, it's gone grey. To sort this out, I'm just gonna come back a bit. There we go, that's when it sort of becomes a problem. I'm just going to change the tolerance. And to do that, I'm going to set a keyframe by pressing the little stopwatch next to the tolerance value. Now, I'm doing this in the effects window here instead of in the timeline. It's the same effect. If you go down to the timeline here, you will see the um, frames have been set. You can do that easily by pressing the U key, which opens up any of the parameters that you have set a keyframe for. You can see the keyframe there. I'm just going to um, actually, before I forget, I'm going to go one step before and also set a keyframe, so that when I change the keyframe here, the the tolerance for the first half of the movie will be at four, and then it's only at this point will it change move it up a little bit and we go and you can just take a bit of time to play around with this and get the sort of results that you want to get now as you can see I, I have a yellow bin in the background now, the best way to get rid of any colour spill, I also have some yellow on the, on the walls a little bit and on the carpet. It's not terribly noticeable, but the bin definitely is. Now, the best way to get around this is to make sure that the colour that you want to highlight isn't in the background. This has kind of been a really bad clip to use, but I did it and I'm using it now. But make sure that you check that you haven't got these colors because it's masking can be quite difficult and time consuming if you've got a very long clip 
And I'm going to show you how to do it because it because it's a good exercise in masking and it does have a cool effect. Now we're going to set up a mask, do that, start from here. We're going to have this layer selected and we're going to go to the pen tool. I was going to start drawing around the jacket. Don't sort of worry about using too many dots. You can put in as many dots as you like because the shape will probably change over time. The more dots, the merrier. Um, and you can see that it is cut out everything else apart from what was in the mask. And then to make the mask sort of move, we need to open up the mask by pressing the M key. And we have the mask path parameter here. Let's take the stopwatch and it's set a keyframe. I'm just going to go along and move the mask. You might want to just move some of the some of these dots just to get a better better fit. But as I said before, I would recommend that you just try and shoot it better. And then I'm I'm using the command or control if you're on a PC and then the arrow keys to move frame by frame along the timeline. And then I can just manipulate this map map mask wherever it needs to be altered. There we go. And this will just make sure that none of the carpet or the wood in the doors or anywhere else has is is becomes highlighted by the the yellow. And then when you've done this frame by frame. I won't do all of it, I'm just going to show you a little bit of it. There you go, and as you can see, I've just... When you've gone through it all frame by frame, you end up with step two.